Hi everyone, Kate here for a very exciting announcement, and that is in the year of 2019, I will be hosting along with Kelly from Books I'm Not Reading and Katie from Life Between Words, a Betsy Tacy read-along. So if you're not familiar with the Betsy Tacy series, this is a wonderful series by Maud Hart Lovelace, and it follows uh, the main character, Betsy Ray, from childhood until when she gets married. I think fans of The Little House on the Prairie and the Anne of Green Gables series would really enjoy this series. The writing style definitely reminds me a lot of Laura Ingalls Wilder writing. It's very simple but elegant, and there's just something there's a beauty in the simplicity and I, you know, I just find myself really compelled to keep reading as I am going through the series. And uh, in this series, you get to follow Betsy with her friendships uh, with Tacey and Tib, and then also get to know her family, um, her parents, and uh, they have a maid named Anna, and just all of these colorful characters that she gets to know through school and within the town that make up a really wonderful world. Uh, they live in Deep Valley is the name of the town, and it is in Minnesota. So there's lots of wonderful, wonderful wintry type passages, and there I'm pretty sure there's a Christmas a uh, couple of scenes in each book, which is really spectacular. Um, so yes, and I like that in each book too, you get kind of the order of the seasons. And so much like in the Harry Potter books, I like seeing you get to see kind of the passing of a year and get to see the different rhythms of the year within each book. So I will tell you the reading schedule and a little bit about each book. And in January, we're going to be reading the first two books in the series. This is a bind up of the first four books. And it has all of them in here because the first four books are the elementary years and are not nearly as long as the high school books. And so the first two we'll be reading in January are Betsy Tacy and Betsy Tacy and Tib. Um, and in Betsy Tacy, the very first book, we get to see Betsy and Tacy meet. And they're kind of not sure, you know, if they're going to get along. And it's just a really neat introduction to this series. And then in the following book, Betsy Tacy and Tib, Tib moves from Milwaukee. And her family is German, so that adds a really interesting, diverse dynamic uh, to to uh, the town of Deep Valley. And uh, you get to see kind of in these first two books traditions that they have that they carry on throughout the whole series, like picnicking on a bench that's at the bottom of the big hill that they call. Uh, you get to see... Um, what's a different thing then they go shopping at Christmas time and pick out all the things they would maybe like and at the end they pick out a Christmas ornament and um, just the adventures that they go on together I think in the in the first two it might be in Betsy Tacy and Tib they start a sand store uh, so it's just very um, endearing it's just a very sweet way to start off the series uh, and the reading level actually goes up as Betsy ages, which I think is a really neat way uh, to write a series. And I was totally able to grow up with Betsy. So as I got older, I was able to read the later books. And uh, I just think they're just lovely. So then in February, we will be reading the final two in the elementary era. And that is Betsy and Tacy go over the big hill. So that kind of speaks for itself about what happens and the really interesting things they discover on the hill. And then Betsy and Tacy go downtown. So that's when they're a little bit older elementary age and they have a little bit more freedom where they can walk around downtown, um, which in today's day and age, I don't think would happen. So it's just a really neat look back um, a long time ago. Uh, it's set in the Edwardian era. And then in... March. We will be reading Heaven to Betsy, which follows Betsy in her uh, in ninth grade, which I'm not sure in the UK what they call ninth grade. Um, anyhow, it will follow them there. And uh, it's really, it's just so fun. There's the typical high school drama, but told in a very charming and winsome way. And you just really do grow to love Betsy so much. And you kind of hear more about her aspirations with her career, kind of what she thinks she wants to do with her life. Um, but there is lots of romantic drama and there is uh, the Betsy and Tacy. There's lots of speculation. There's a new boy at school and they just refer to him as the tall, dark stranger because they haven't met him. So there's lots of emotion put into that. Um, but I'll show you briefly. I just adore the illustrations in this so much. Um, it's just pen and ink, but 
I have always loved them so much, especially because you get to see the hairstyles uh, that are done. So here's one. I just think it's so pretty. Um, and also in this, she just meets a lot more friends, makes friends at high school. And um, yeah, they're just really charming illustrations. Uh, so yes, that's Heaven to Betsy. So that's for March. And then for April, we'll be reading Betsy in Spite of Herself. And in this one, there is uh, an upperclassman that Betsy is hoping to woo. And so she goes on a trip to Milwaukee. She gets to visit Tib, who had moved away when they were still in elementary school. And so she gets to visit Tib and gets, gets to see a very German Christmas, which is really neat, um, but decides she's going to try to make herself very interesting and sophisticated to kind of um, get this upperclassman to notice her. Uh, there's lots of humor in these also, and just really, I just love getting to see all the relationships. And um, her older sister, Julia, is a main character in this. And, um, and then she has a younger sister who comes along in one of the later elementary books. So that is up to uh, April. Then we move on to May uh, when we will be reading Betsy Was a Junior. So in Betsy Was a Junior, what was I wanting to say? Oh, yes, Tib moves back to town. So it's really neat because Tib was such a good friend of theirs and Tib moves back to town. And there's just more um, high school drama. Uh, some of the guys that they're really good friends with are on the football team. And I am pretty sure in this one, Betsy and Tacey form a sorority with some of the other girls. And so it's a lot, a lot of fun. But the one that I'd say might be my favorite out of the high school years, just because of the romantic element is Betsy and Joe, which we will be reading then in June. And so she's kind of been interested in Joe. He's been on her radar for all of high school, but then finally um, things just come together and they are able uh, to work things out. And let's see if I can get a nice picture of Betsy and Joe. Um, it's, yeah, so Joe's a very interesting character and there's a nice picture. And so you're kind of hoping that things will work out. He just kind of stands out from a lot of the other guys. Uh, but I just really love these so much. There's a lot of Betsy hanging out with her friends and um, doing the, like they go to the football games together and something that teenagers don't do at all now is they sing songs together, which people think, you know, they're way too cool to do that, but it's so much fun. And some of them can play the piano and they just sing along to songs and hang out. I, uh, and then there's a neat tradition that they start where they do um, Sunday supper at, at the Ray's house. Betsy's, Betsy's last name is uh, Ray. And her dad makes these amazing sandwiches for all the friends. It's so much fun. I can't stop smiling talking about this series, and I'm so excited to revisit it. Okay, so that was Betsy and Joe. So then in July, we will start up, this is the next bind up, Betsy and the Great World. So um, Betsy and Joe, uh, spoiler alert, but these books are so old that things don't work out. And then Betsy gets sick. She was going to go to college, but she's not able to. Um, and so she ends up, after she has recovered for a while, she travels. And so it's really interesting. It's Betsy totally out of her normal element. This is the one in the series that I remember the least. I read it once when I was a lot younger. And then another time when I was, um, I think it was like six years ago that I read it. Um, so yeah, you get to see Betsy travel. Um, so yeah, that's one that really stands out. Uh, so I'm, I don't know why I don't remember it as well, or maybe it's one of the ones that I didn't reread six years ago. I'm not sure if I got through the whole series. Anyhow, um, so that is <laughs> the July pick. Then in August, we will be reading Betsy's Wedding, which uh, speaks for itself, and it's just a really sweet book. You get to see Betsy getting married and um, just her newlywed days. It's really fabulous. So then we'll be carrying on for several more months, though, um, because in September, there are three other Deep Valley novels that I have not read. Um, it, in September is Carney's House Party, and Carney is one of Betsy's very good friends in this series, and I think it just follows Carney a lot more in that one. I haven't read it. 
and I'm really looking forward to reading it, you know, having some material I haven't ever read. And then in October, we will be reading Emily of Deep Valley. And Emily of Deep Valley is a character that I don't think you actually know in the Betsy Tacy series. From the research that I've done, that's what it looks like. Uh, but she has kind of some disappointing circumstances have. Um, some disappointing circumstances happen, but then something really good turns out from it. So you get to follow her through this season of her life where I think there's a lot of growth um, throughout it. And then lastly, we'll end uh, in November with Winona's Party Cart. This is the shortest one and it's only around 133 pages. Winona is one of Betsy's good friends uh, in her time at Deep Valley and this follows Winona when she's younger. So it will be kind of a jump back. But that is the order how we're going to read things. I really hope you all join me. This is such a lovely, classic, iconic series. And I think so many people would really enjoy it. So yeah, let me know if you'll be joining in. Also, a brief note about these editions that I have. These are the um, PS editions. And I do recommend getting these if you can, used or otherwise, uh, because at the end of them, it comes with pictures of the real people because these are kind of uh, fictionalized biogra fictionalized biographies, I think is how I would say it. Um, but you get to see the, the houses and all of the places and even covers of the older editions. So I think these are a little a little pricier for a paperback because you're getting a couple books in each one. So this one was $16 when I bought it. Um, so if you can find it used, um, I do recommend if you want supplemental material. Otherwise, then I think you can find um, some really affordable used options online. And hopefully your libraries would have some of the younger books. Um, I was telling the other ladies that the older books I haven't seen as much at libraries, but those are later in the year. Um, so hopefully there will be time for you to get those to join in. So um, I think we'll keep the hashtag being Betsy and Betsy Tacy 2019. Uh, and so I will be, you know, talking about this on Instagram as well. And maybe you can use that hashtag for um, your reading that you are doing. But I can't wait to discuss with everyone. And I will see you for another video soon. Bye.